Next, we are going to draw isometric projections of combination solids. That means one solid will be placed over another solid and then we will be drawing the isometric projection of this combination. Now, till now we were drawing figures in isometric projections. Now, in this question, you can see you are asked to draw the isometric view. Now, the difference between an isometric projection and an isometric view is in an isometric projection, the dimensions has to be taken from an isometric scale, but in an isometric view, you can take the dimensions from our ordinary scale itself. Now, here, read the question. You are asked to place a sphere of a diameter 50 mm on centrally on top of a cube of edge 60 mm. A sphere has to be placed centrally exactly at center at the, on top of a cube. Now, the general rule is always we have to start with the solid that is resting on its base. Okay, so here we have to start with the cube. As usual, you have to draw the top view and front view first. Okay, that has to be drawn separately. After that, you have to start with our isometric projections. Okay, as usual, we will be starting with our reference line. Start with the horizontal line. You mark a point on it. You draw th two 30 degree lines on both sides. So, 30 degree line towards right side, you 30 degree line towards left side. You take 60 mm on both sides. Okay, 60 mm, 60 mm. Next, take 60 mm as radius in your compass. This point as center, cut one arc. This point as center, cut another arc. Okay. Now, that is the base of the cube. So, it won't be visible. So, you can join using dotted lines. So, first we will be drawing the base of the cube. Next, from all these four points, draw vertical lines. Now, the height of the cube is also 60 mm. Edge is 60. So, height should also be 60. Next, from these four points, you draw vertical lines. Okay. Again, the length should be taken should be 60 mm itself. Okay. So we'll be getting again four points. We'll be getting this point, this point, this point, and this point. And you can join it. So we'll be getting the isometric projection of a cube first. Okay. Now, the speciality of a cube is if you are drawing the isometric projection, all these points will exactly meet at this point itself. Now, next we have to, to place a sphere on top of this cube. Now, for that, first find the center. For that, you can just place your scale on these two corners and you can just mark a point here. This will be the center of our cube. Now, for placing a sphere, first we have to raise the height. A height raised should be equal to the radius of the sphere. Because if I am taking this point as center and if I am drawing the circle, the sphere will go inside the cube. Okay, we want it to be placed above the cube. So first what you will do is, first find the center, take whatever be the radius, you mark it above. Okay, you will be getting the center of this sphere. Now, thing is, we are going to draw the sphere using in an isometric view. Now, thing is, if I are viewing a sphere, a sphere exactly from the front or from the side, its dimensions will never change. The sphere will look exactly whenever we are viewing it in any direction, from front, front top or whatever side. So, what you will do is, first you find this point, you identify the center. After that, the radius that you have to take here should be the radius into 1.2 m because when we are drawing this okay there should be a 20 percentage enlargement okay so here the radius with which you have to draw the sphere should be radius into 1.2 so the radius is 60 m multiplied by 1.2 so radius is 30 m you multiply it by 1.2 you will be getting a value so with this point as center and uh, this whatever be this value that as radius you draw the circle when you are drawing that you can see that this point will come inside the circle now, if the same question was asked in an isometric projection, if the same question was asked in an isometric projection, all these dimensions should have been taken from an isoscale. The cube should have been drawn using isoscale. Then the height also should have been taken from isoscale. We will be taking 25 mm also from using isoscale. After that, for drawing the circle, what you will do is, you will take the height from our normal scale. Okay. And then you have to draw the circle okay so here also what happens is the radius will be from taken from our ordinary scale the height should be equal to iso radius so using that as center again circle we will be drawing that for isometric view also in that case also this point will come inside the circle because the height was taken from iso scale the circle is being drawn using scale one is to one so automatically this radius will be greater than this one so again it will be coming like this itself okay so that's the main difference between an isometric projection and isometric view in isometric view the height has to be taken from our ordinary scale 
the di radius with which you have to take the circle, draw the circle should be radius into 1.2. In an isometric projection, the height has to be taken from iso using iso radius and the circle has to be drawn using your ordinary scale itself. Okay, so here you are drawing isometric view, so you can draw the figure in this manner.